Hello, back again to do another unboxing and review. Today we're going to look at the Free Breathe. So that is a revolutionary full dry snorkeling mask with 180 degree vision and anti-fog. Um, so right off the bat, I don't do a lot of spear fishing or snorkeling or any of that stuff. I got this primarily because I thought it looked really cool. And as we open it, you'll probably see it has a real sci-fi look to it. So yeah, um, I fully plan to use it. But um, so anyway, um, all right. So I did have to order this from overseas. Um, got it from China. Um, there are a few sizes. Um, there's the small, medium, and then I think the medium, large. Uh, so anyway, so I got that. You can get it in a few colors. I opted for black. And um, all right, so um, looking here, it comes in this kind, this net bag, which uh, looks reusable since you have the little uh, push to slide bead up here. Um, there's not a lot of packaging as you can see, but let's just look at what the picture shows here. So you can see those are the other colors. Um, and yes, you can attach evidently a GoPro to the top. And um, okay, so oh, and these little um, icons up here are just saying that you have a 180 degree vision. So essentially everything pretty much to the front of you and um, to the sides. But yeah, not, not beyond that. But that's still a lot of vision for a mask. And then, um, yeah, it looks like it's saying that you don't have to breathe into like a little snorkel. Some of those things you have to actually put in your mouth. Evidently, you don't have to do that here. And also that water doesn't go into the snorkel. So, um, all right. So let's open it up here. And uh, the item is wrapped in um, this kind of foam. Uh, which makes sense for this has a rather big lens and you wouldn't want that scratched. So, good that they thought about that. Okay, I will keep this bag though. That could come in handy. So, there it is. Unwrapping it. Oh, okay, there we go. So, it looks like we have uh, got the mask. This is a snorkel. And we also get these would appear to be, I don't know, these almost look like earplugs in this little bag. And then there's some kind of gasket and a little screw. I'm assuming the screw thing probably has something to do with the GoPro mount. But anyways, we'll, we'll find out. We'll look at it here. Okay, so here's the mask. Um, okay, we'll start with the mask. Um, there is some, is this like a manual in here? Yeah, user manual. And here it's called a full face snorkel mask. Um, so wearing instructions, okay, good. And oh, by the way, there are the colors you can get. Um, green, pink, blue, and black. And by the way, when you get the black, you notice not only it changes the um, frame color too. It looks with the other colors, the frame stays white. Uh, okay, so, yeah. You know, and the sizes evidently are small, medium, large, extra large. Okay, and um, by the way, the instructions are written in English, so that's good. Um, okay, and oh, by the way, you get pictures too. So, all right, uh, looking at the mask. Okay, so um, something to note: the front. I was kind of expecting the um, the shield to be curved all the way around, but instead, you can see it where your eyes go. It appears to be flat. See. Okay, and of course there's a protrusion for your nose. Um, this must be the um, exhale type deal. But anyways, look look inside. So you can see there that you kind of um, if you've ever wear a respirator for like maybe spray painting or whatever, it has a very similar kind of deal to that. So you have this uh, triangle that essentially goes over your mouth and nose. And then um, the rest of your face is still within the mask, but um, and I guess that helps uh, to direct your your breathing and the, the vapors and the moisture, and that keeps it away from the part where your the, the shield where your eyes are looking through, so it doesn't fog up as much. So that makes sense. Um, okay, and um, oh, let's talk about this. So the sling um, that goes over your head. 
it pretty much has that web in the back. You can see the two bands here, they're stuck together. So, um, yeah, it should be able to stay on your head. It looks pretty secure. Um, you have some adjustment here. These appear to be like the little slide adjusters, but they're also made out of the same material that the band is, so you don't have any plastic or anything going on there. Uh, the, the seal around your face here, well, you can hear it. So yeah, um, it, it, um, it shapes to my uh, manipulating it pretty well and springs back into shape, into the position. So it should make a good seal. And um, also you can see the size, maybe not, but the size is written in there. Um, SM for this case. Okay, and then up here you have the mount for your GoPro or action cam. Um, I, For all you fans of GoPro or those action cams, I don't know if this mount is the um, can standard, if you can use it for other brands, but I assume that that's pretty universal. Um, of course, if you want to tell me in the comments, go ahead. Okay, now let's look at um, these. I'm going to read the instruction and figure out what these are about. But let's look at the snorkel comes in this own bag. Oh. Okay, so, um, well, yeah, I can figure that out, poop. Um, perhaps that gasket goes around, the, no, it has an O-ring already on there. Um, so, okay. But anyways, you connect it there. And then, yeah, it's pretty major up here. I thought this would just be like a simple straw type thing, but it looks to have a little more going on than that. Um, okay, and if you can see in there, I don't know if it's coming up, but there's like some little sphere. It's like a little plastic bobble. And yeah, it moves around in there. So I'm gonna have to figure out what that's going on. It looks like a float of some kind. Um, yeah, well, I'll read the instructions to figure out what that is, but yeah, there does appear to be more going on than just a tube with a hole in the top. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and look at the instructions, get this put together, and um, I'll come back, and then from there, I'll go ahead and do a quick test of this. All right, so there it is put together. Okay, now as far as um, what I was able to learn by reading the instructions, um, this is in fact your drain hole, so if you get water in the mask, you have, you know you put your head like this and then the water drains out. Um, so that's that. Um, Alright, let's talk about up here. I figured out what that little uh, bobble in there is, and in fact it is a float, I was right about that. And it, when this, if you submerge this in water, which of course is, you don't want to do that, but if it should happen, that little float floats up and it closes um, like a valve so that water doesn't come in <laughs> and start raining down inside your mask and fill up your mask. Um, so that's kind of a cool feature. And uh, what else? Um, okay, as far as this little gasket, that is, I'm assuming, a replacement for the gasket that was already um, around the connection point from the snorkel to the mask, so I guess that's a backup. The little uh, screw, or sorry, not, yeah, the little cap here, the little nut, that um, has to do with, I assume, the um, action cam, so, um, but they didn't tell you really what it's for, I'm just assuming that. And the earplugs, well, they're just, I guess, earplugs. Again, they didn't talk about those either. So if you are doing snorkeling and you don't like water going in your ears, I guess they got you covered, kind of. Okay, so um, now let's talk about the fit. Well, you're, you're supposed to start by putting your chin in the bottom. So, like, you know, put your chin in the bottom and then you kind of push. So you kind of pivot. So you put, you know, have it around your chin. Of course, you have your head within these straps. You put your chin in first and then kind of roll the mask up um, and fasten it in place. When you do that, uh, this rubber here is going to be pressed really tightly against your face. But again, that makes sense because you don't want water going in there. So um, I, I think it fits. I mean, it is snug. But again, you kind of need that. And this uh, web here really helps because... Uh, it gives a lot of surface area to push against the back of your head and push this towards your face. Um, the little, uh, what do you call them, little adjusters bands here, that's kind of, 
if they, they work. Um, so I have him here kind of in this, or I got this loosened up about as much as it can go. And that's what you're supposed to have when you put it on. And then once you have it on against your face, then of course you tighten them. And they said make sure it's equal on both sides, right? Okay. So, um, yeah, now I guess the only thing to do would be go ahead and test it. Um, I'm going to, without going to a pool, I'm going to see if I can test it here. If that works, I'll be right back to, to let you know. And if it doesn't work here, then I'll actually have to go to a pool. And then, um, well, I'll be back a little later. All right, so just coming back from the test, um, I was able to test it here. I didn't have to go to a pool. Um, so what I did is I filled the bathtub with water. And um, kneeling outside the tub, I put my hand on the edge. And I just dunked my head straight in. Um, and pushed my head as far as it could go to the bottom without bumping my the nose on the bottom of the tub. So that was enough depth to get my head submerged but still have the snorkel out of the water. And okay, what you're wanting to hear is did it work? Yeah, actually it did. The first time I did it, I pretty much just threw the mask on. I didn't really spend much time trying to get a great seal. Um, I just made sure it was tight and I just went in for it. So I was under there for about, you know, um, I would say maybe over a minute before I start getting some little drops of water on, on the inside of the lens. Now keep in mind my head of course being here and the mask is essentially sitting like this um, submerged in the water. So um, the reason I point that out is because all the pressure of the water above me is going straight down on the seal, which of course is all the way around my face here. So I think, um, although this, I didn't get to test this in a um, pool, um, actually this might have done been enough of a test because all the pressure of the water is coming straight down on the seal. Now if you were maybe in a tub, or not a tub, in a pool, where you know maybe your, your head's more like this, or maybe even, um, well, maybe even if the pool's deep enough, you could even be almost the mass completely vertical. And I don't think there'd be as much pressure um, from the water on the seal. So in essence, I guess if it can do this, it should be able to handle more, um, I guess, conventional use even better. So uh, the first dunk, um, like I said, I was in there for about a minute before I start getting, well, maybe a little less than a minute, and I start getting little drops on the inside of the mask. But then, of course, when you pull your head out of the tub or pool or whatever, in this case the tub, the, um, the extra water drained real quickly. And again, it wasn't all that much either. And then I was able to go back in. Now, the second time, I actually spent a little more time trying to get the seal to go around my face and flush and um, went in and uh, got a little better results. But, um, yeah, I would say then it was maybe about, you know, maybe almost a minute, maybe even a little more before I got any little drops of water inside. Now, let's talk about this whole setup with the um, nose, mouth being isolated from the uh, rest or the vision part of the mask. That works really well. Um, I was breathing kind of hard, and I wasn't able to fog the lenses up. So this part here is doing its job quite well. And now let's talk about this uh, bobble at the top. Now because, keep in mind, I'm only, I only tested this in a tub, I really wasn't able to go deep enough to get this where water would come in here. So I didn't really get to completely test the water lockout feature of this little bobble in there. However, one time, I think it was the second dunk in the tub, there was one time when breathing became kind of obstructed and that might have been I got my head just deep enough to get some water in the snorkel. And if that is the case, it did stop the water. Um, so per I think it might actually work. Um, again, though, uh, for a full test, you'd probably want to go to the pool. But from what I was able to do here, it worked actually quite well. Okay, so in conclusion, would I recommend this? Um, yes. Um, and keep in mind, I bought this just because I kind of thought it looked cool and I wanted to try it out, and I'm finding it useful. So if you're really into this kind of deal with the underwater snorkeling, fish looking at, fish spearing, or whatever, um, it would be obviously even more useful to you. Um, there are, and also, uh, I think the looks of it are quite cool, um, <laughs> especially when you get in this black color. And also, the vision in this is actually quite good. As you can see, the frame of the mask kind of bends back here so that you can see out the sides. So, yeah, and for the price, I mean, you really can't go wrong with it. Plus, it's just a nifty thing. <laughs>